My, my dream job would be uh, prime time, 8 p.m. time slot, Simpsons, 20-year run. Um, that yeah. would be my dream job yeah. because it's so much fun doing voice work, uh, especially when you work with a great group of people. And, and they probably make a hell of a lot more money than we make doing our oh, voice. Oh <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it, it's just do. huge. And, and to be part of something like that would be a dream come true. You know, you know we're, we're in it for the money. We're in, it, <laughs> we're in it for the fun of it. For the fun and we're, the money. Because we enjoy it, but we're also in it for the money. Hmm. And, like you know, and, and right. a, another dream job, I, I, ha, I did NBC promos for 10 years, but the primary guy at NBC at that time was Danny Dark, the guy that beat me out for the Budweiser account. Mm. But he was a, he was a you good guy. You don't like that guy, do you? No, he was a good guy. <laughs> he was a really good guy. And uh, he's now taking a dirt nap, but he... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that answers that. I don't think so. But, he, but Danny had the, NB, the primary NBC account for 10 years, more than 10 years, I guess, 15 years. And uh, he was getting a million dollars a year just for going in and doing, you know, tonight on NBC and whatever the promos That's were. Amazing. And he bought a house in Malibu. Oh, Mucho Grande, a wonderful house, on the water, two stories. Lindsay Wagner lived downstairs. He rented the downstairs to her, and he lived upstairs. And Lindsay had a dog that used to crap on the beach, <laughs> and, he, and, and he couldn't stand that. And he also, Danny, played the trumpet. And he would play the trumpet, and Lindsay would call him and say, Danny, I have an early call. I can't, I, can you please not play the trumpet? And so Danny decided he didn't want to have anybody living in his house. So when Lindsay's uh, uh, lease was up, he didn't renew it. And he created the whole house, a two-story house. He lived in the bedroom, the living room that was upstairs, made it into a bedroom. And it was a great place. But he did that was, you know, on, on the residuals, not the residuals, but on the, on the session fees mm -hmm. for doing promos for 12, 15 years at NBC. Uh, I, I mean, I made... Uh, I guess about 150 grand a year just doing pickup stuff, you know, uh, and the stuff that Danny was too lazy to come back from Malibu to do. Mm. And uh, and there was another guy that was ahead of me. He, uh, this guy uh, made a, a half a million bucks a year doing the stuff Danny didn't want to come back to do. And I got, I started doing the Tonight Show promos when Carson was on. They had never promoted the Carson show. And once they did, the ratings went up. Gee, big surprise. Interesting. So they wanted to do it all the time. And this, this second guy, Jerry, he begged off. He said, it's my dinner time when we have to do that. And I, I, I don't want to have to come in and do it. Can, we, can you get somebody else? So the guy called my agent, and my agent started listing off guys. And he got to me, and he said, oh, we know Jack. And he's OK. So that's how I got 10 years on NBC. We know Jack. He's OK. Wow. And, and, and I went in to do The Tonight Show every, every night, and then they'd say, well, there's, there's some other stuff that we need, so when you're through here, go into the big room and do that. So it was 10 years. And, uh, so they didn't pre-record? You had to go in every night to, to, every night. to, sit, yeah. to mention the guests and stuff and who was on the show, I guess? Yeah. Interesting. And, and in <laughs> fact, they didn't have a producer uh, assigned to that show, to The Tonight Show. And so they would sort of like whoever was available, and nobody wanted to do it uh, of the producers. They, they just, oh, I don't want to do it. And I'd say, okay, just relax. And I, I knew what was going on. So I would kind of re write the show and <laughs> pick out the little pieces that should be in the promo. So for, hmm. for th three years uh, that Carson was still on, uh, I, did, uh, I did the Tonight Show promos and pretty much created them myself.